So you've created your online group program or online course and you're getting ready to share it with your social media audience, but you're not exactly sure how to do that. <laughs> Stick around because in this video, I'm gonna show you my four pillars to launching with consistent content. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, Jen Marilla. This YouTube channel is for content creators, coaches, and online service providers who are looking to grow their online business. If you're coming back, thank you for being here and I appreciate you. If you're brand new, what is up and welcome to the party. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're excited to learn about launching and a launch strategy for whatever it is that you're selling online because I know how important it is and I wish I had this when I was first launching something. I'm gonna walk you guys through my four pillars for content specifically for launching. So grab that pen and paper and get ready. This video is brought to you by my mini training, create and launch your signature group program using my three step spicy launch system process. So go ahead and find the description below and I look forward to seeing you inside that mini training. Okay, let's dive in because we've got a lot to cover here. I hope you've got your pen and paper. So the four pillars of content that you need when you are launching are number one is valuable shareable content number two is storytelling and emotional content i'm going to describe each one number three is objections and number four is client experiences so when i'm referring to valuable shareable content i'm referring to you building authority in your space so that means you creating content around the thing that you sell around the thing that you know the most about Okay, every single piece of content that you create needs to have a call to action, whether it's to a lead magnet, a challenge, or you're asking for the sale, you need to have a call to action. Maybe you're asking them to reach out to you in the DMs, maybe you're asking them to drop an emoji, or you're asking them to tag someone that needs to hear what you have to share, just make sure it has that, okay? Don't worry, I'll dive into call to actions in just a little bit. But you wanna make sure that you have pillars, that those are the four pillars. So let me explain each piece of content. So valuable shareable content is what makes you authority and allows for people to believe and know that you're an authority in that space. When I'm talking about storytelling and emotional content, I'm referring to meeting your, your audience where they're at. Tell them about the experiences that you have, where you came from and how far you've come and how your methods and your processes have gotten you to where they are. Literally paint the dream life for your ideal clients so that they know that what you have to offer, like you've been there, you know it works because you've been through it, right? You wanna meet them where they're at. The third option, the third piece of content is the objection content. So this is the type of content where we meet people's objections. So let's say a lot of the objections you have is about mindset. So it's about finding the right time, finding the money, showing up, having the motivation, imposter syndrome, all those things. That type of content could also be insinuated as emotional content. I want you to create that type of content as well. When I'm talking about client experiences, I'm talking about case studies, testimonials, walking them through the process that you are potentially selling to them. So those are the pillars and types of content that you need to create for launch. Now, the second step, once you have these pillars, is taking 30 ideas from your ideal client, the struggles that your ideal client has, and putting them into these pillars, okay? Now, I say 30 because once you have 30 ideas, you can just rinse and repeat these ideas, whether you talk about them in stories or you're talking about them in a reel or you create original content, whatever it is that you're going to do, you now have these ideas for 30 days on rinse and repeat. And we all know that not everybody sees your content all the time, right? Okay, so this leads us to number three, and this is the fun part. So number three is picking a theme for your days. Okay. And so I want you to ask yourself how many times you want to post. So let's say we want to post minimum three times a week. There's five days in a week. And so what I want you to do is pick the days of the week that you are going to post and theme them. So let's say you're going to post three times a week and let's say you're going to do Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Monday, you're going to post a valuable post Tuesday and Wednesday, you're going to post a client objection. And then, um, on Friday, you're going to go ahead and post an emotional storytelling post, right? And what you're going to do then is then you're going to calculate the month ahead how many posts you actually need. So let's just do some basic math here. If there's four weeks in a month and you're going to post three times a week, that's about 12 posts that you're going to need. Then I want you to go back to the ideas that you have and I want you to do some research based on the type of content that's already doing well on your page and or people that you admire and what's working well for them that you can uniquely create for your style. The reason why you're gonna do this is because we're not trying to invent something different. We're not trying to be like, 
completely out of the box. We just want to do something that's already working and we want to work it even better. So looking at the research, looking at your analytics and looking at to see what type of videos people actually like. And I say videos because you all know if you come to this channel and you watch me, you know that I'm a big fan of creating reels and creating original content, creating trending sounds, all those things. So what you do is then you go through the pillars that you have and the ideas that you have and you start creating context for each of the ideas. So maybe one of them could be an idea about a reel or maybe one of them that's like an objection could be like a trending sound or something like that. But you want to break that down, okay, so that you have that fully organized. So number four, when you're picking the 12 posts and you're organizing the context of the type of post that you want, I want you to consider this. When you're launching, you need about 70% of your content to be valuable content, shareable content, right? And that could be a mix of original content and trends. You need about 20% of them to be storytelling and emotional and you need about 10% of them to meet objections and have client experiences. And that is an overall umbrella of how you should pick and choose the content or the types of content you should have for your launch. Now, the last and final step is creating. <laughs> and so my advice to you is at this point, when you have mapped out, when you've done some research, when you have some solid ideas, I mean, you technically only need 12 posts or 12 ideas then I would go ahead and choose a day for creating and go ahead and create on one specific day, all the reels, all the contacts. And then the next day you can edit. And then the following day you can go ahead and schedule and put that out. But it's as easy as that. And it doesn't take longer than that. You don't have to overthink the process as you continue to do this over and over. It gets a lot easier. So with that, my friends, I hope this was super helpful. I hope you enjoyed this. Go ahead and give me a thanks up. Feel free to ask me any questions below and I will respond to you. But until next time, I will see you soon. You guys are the best. Take care. Bye.